Okay, so let's solve this problem. So how to interpret a Likert scale result? So first, we need to have these categories. So example, we have 1 for strongly agree, 2 for agree, 3 for neutral, 4 for disagree, and 5 for strongly disagree. Then from these categories, so we can find now the range. And to find the range, so from the highest value or the highest number, that's 5, then minus the smallest value or the smallest number, that's 1, and 5 minus 1, that's equal to 4. So the range is equal to 4. Then from the range, we can find out the interval. And to solve for the interval, so from the range, that's 4, divide by the highest number, that's 5. So 4 divided by 5, so we have 4 divided by 5 equal, so that's 0 0.8. And just use two decimal places, so 0 0.80, so the interval is 0 0.80. Then to create now the Likert scale, so starts with the smallest value, so we have 1, and that's 1.00, so two decimal places. Then for the upper limit, so from 1 plus the interval 0 0.80, so the upper limit for the first scale is 1.80 then for the second scale so since the upper limit is 1.80 so just add 0 0.01 for the lower limit of the second scale so that's 1.81 then for the upper limit so from this 1.80 plus the interval so 0 0.80, so we have 1.80 plus 0 0.80, so the upper limit is 2.6 or 2.60. So for the second scale, the upper limit is 2.60. Then for the third scale, so since this one is 2.60, so the lower limit is 2.61 and for the upper limit from this 2.60 plus 0.80 so that's 3.40 then for the fourth scale since this one is 3.40 so the lower limit is 3.41 and the upper limit this 3.40 plus 0.80 that's 4.20 and the last scale so since this one is 4.20 so the lower limit is 4.21 and the upper limit the last number that's 5.00 so this is now the Likert scale then to interpret the result using this Likert scale so example, so we have this response of the seven respondents. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we have these four questions. And these are the response of the seven respondents. And take note, one is strongly agree, two is agree, three is neutral, four is disagree, and five is strongly disagree. So first, we need to find the average for every question. So for question number one, to find the average, just add all these numbers and divide by seven because we have these seven respondents. So we have three plus four plus two plus four plus three plus five plus two. So add all these numbers equals then to find the average divide by 7 because we have 7 respondents so the average so I uh, use two decimal places that's 3.29 so the average for question number 1 is 
Then for question number 2, so again, add all these numbers, divide by 7, then you have this average, 3.71. For question number 3, add all these numbers, divide by 7, and the average is 3.00. Then for question number 4, so add all these numbers, divide by 7, and the average is 2.00. Then this time, to interpret the result using the Likert scale, so for question number 1, since the average is 3.29 and 3.29 belongs to the scale, so therefore, most of the respondents are neutral. Then for question number 2, since the average is 3.71 and 3.71 belongs to the scale, so therefore, most of the respondents disagree. Then for question number 3, since the average is 3.0, and 3.0 belongs to the scale, so therefore most of the respondents are neutral. And for question number 4, since the average is 2.00, and 2.00 belongs to the scale, so therefore most of the respondents agree. So this is how to interpret a Likert scale results.